Sure. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Julie Frost. And what are you doing here at Fanex, Julie? I am trying to sell my book. Tell us about your book. Uh, my book is about a private eye with PTSD who is thrown face first into a brutal world of werewolves, vampires, and nanotech by a pharmaceutical espionage case called Horribly Well. That sounds very specific. <laughs> and I know you write uh, werewolves, uh -huh, yeah. right? This is, this is the book right here. It's called Pack Dynamics. So how did you get into writing werewolf fiction? You know, they just kind of grabbed me by the throat and wouldn't let go. And they, there's so much that you can do with them. You know, there are so many issues that you can like delve into, like what makes human and what what monster is as monster does, or right. you know. Well, and like werewolves, I'd imagine would be more social than like vampires. Exactly. So you get a lot of interpersonal and yeah. and group dynamics well, and fun yeah, stories exactly. there. You know, the group dynamics. Right. Really, yeah. Nice. So how did you get started? As a writer? As a writer, uh, I got started writing Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan fiction. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Joss. Right. And uh, then I, you know, after writing like 70 some odd short stories in the Buffy and Angel and Firefly fandom, I, uh, I decided to branch out into my own fiction. And I basically scraped the serial numbers off the Firefly fic that I had. Right. And, uh, have the crew, change the sexes around, add the aliens, and wrote a story. So, I mean, you've been doing this for a while, uh -huh. right? Are there any issues that you've run into as a woman or challenges specifically that you think are, that women face in, in, the, in the writing industry? You know, not that I've actually noticed. Um, I mean, they, people say there are, but I haven't run into any personally that I know of. Larry Korea blurbed my book and oh, did a nice. book bomb for me. So, you know, I haven't I haven't run into any as a woman in the industry at all. So it seems like you guys are a pretty tight knit group and uh, pretty complimentary and supportive of one another. Oh yeah, we love each other. Is that is that pretty accurate? Huh? And then, like, what piece of advice would you have to somebody out there who's thinking, you know, she's got a good idea for the next a next story or the next franchise? What what would you tell a, a young woman who wants to start writing? Sit down and write it. Yeah. Yep. Just sit down and start typing, or writing a longhand, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Yeah. Just and then sit down and write it. How long before, like, she should feel comfortable, or an author should feel comfortable showing somebody? Because I know a lot of us are out there writing fanfic or Buffy uh -huh. fic in secret yeah. in our you heart know, of hearts. Uh, as, when you think it's good enough, you know, and that's all subjective. There's not, there's not a point where you can say. You know, I mean, I, I, I published my first fanfic that I ever wrote online. Mm -hmm. And I showed it, you know, I showed it to basically anybody who would be interested. And if so, you if you have a group that you hang out really with. Really trust. And, yeah. And, yeah. You know, but at the same time, you don't want them blowing smoke at you. Right. You know, if you have issues with your story, then you want them to tell you what those issues are. My husband is my first reader. So it's important to have like a brutal set of honest friends yes. that are not going to spin you right. or try to sell, you know what I mean? Yep, yep. They're just going to be really honest with you. That's yep. good to know. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh -huh.